Unfortunately, Kentucky has a lot of unique health problems that are sometimes more pronounced than many other parts of the country. We see the, the worst of some particular types of disease, certain cancers, obesity, diabetes tend to particularly plague Kentuckians. So in as much as we're faced with that problem, we have a terrific opportunity to do clinical research that can be most effective in making those Kentuckians better. One of the things that made me go into cancer research was the fact that I live in Kentucky. I'm an eighth generation Kentuckian, and my state has the highest rate of lung cancer and colorectal cancer in the entire nation. 800 people a year are diagnosed with lung cancer just in southeastern Kentucky. Now that's just a tragedy. There's got to be something more to that than just smoking. So we started looking into environmental stresses, lifestyle, genetics, and all the things that can lead to cancer. We're just trying to find ways of reducing lung cancer rates in Eastern Kentucky. The Lung Cancer Research Initiative is a partnership with the Kentucky Home Place. What the Home Place people do is actually go into the homes of volunteers who have cancer and also normal volunteers where they discuss health related issues, environmental exposures, job history, as well as collecting water and soil samples from the home, and uh, interestingly hair and blood, urine and toenails, toenails being the way that we can tell what kind of exposures to trace elements people have had within the last six months, and analyzing those and comparing the people with cancer to those who don't have cancer to see if there's a different signal in that population. You know, if you just get one little piece of evidence, that will link you with someone else and you know it may someday who knows what shows up and can lead to a cure. We'll learn something from this study that'll make us do something new and hopefully that something new will impact the people of this region and help to detect cancer earlier or figure out how to avoid the cancer in the first place. It makes me feel good to think that they may learn something from my case in order to help someone else and I'd do it again if I was asked. I think one of the important things that we can help do here at the center is to bring that information back to the community and say, hey, this is what we found, and hey, we'd like to share that with you. Because we believe that that is a focus that the Market Cancer Center and the University of Kentucky have to have if we're going to be leading the state and the nation in research and improving the lives of Kentuckians, which is our goal. The nice thing about clinical trials is that although they are research and although they are often uh, involve a control condition, they do bring a potential new efficacious treatment to the state that folks might not otherwise get. Specifically, we look at, in our lab, the behavioral and pharmacological factors that contribute to stimulant abuse. I've also done work with other big drugs that affect Kentucky, both cigarette smoking and opioid use. Whether you like it or not, you probably have someone in your life who has some sort of drug problem and it's probably going to impact you. Eventually a medication, if, if it's identified to be effective and then eventually gains FDA approval for treating either say cocaine abuse or methamphetamine abuse could have direct impact for the citizens uh, of Kentucky and uh, treating those and help, helping them uh, stop using. Bringing research discoveries out of the laboratory, bringing them full circle and around to people that are affected directly by Alzheimer's disease, real people in the real world needing real cures and real medicines, that's the culmination of everything that we do here at Sanders Brown. Once I was diagnosed, I looked um, online for different centers that were uh, participating in Alzheimer's trials and the closest one to me was the University of Kentucky. We feel like coming to the Sanders Brown Center was the um, best decision we made and we went to two other national clinics before we ended up here. There's a, a tremendous amount that we can do to help people navigate the disease process. There are medicines that will help with their symptoms. We can support patients and their family members so that they can deal with this devastating disease. This clinical trial, I really feel, has been a, 
a, a real positive benefit to me because my foggy days aren't as foggy as they used to be. I feel like we, we are getting some of the very best minds in the country working behind the scenes and then directly. We have a social worker, we have a nurse, we have a doctor, we have you know, some of the best in the nation and they're just right here, they know our names. We are people to them, we're not a disease. We have a terrific opportunity to do clinical research that can be most effective at making those Kentuckians better. If we can't make changes in the lives of people here, we can't, what are we doing it for, right? It's really about bringing it back home to Kentucky to fix the problems of Kentucky.